The last time we visited three young engineers from Garden Grove High, they'd won a state science competition. Now they've outdone themselves with the blue ribbon at the Nationals. Steve Shifo has the details. Uh, uh, get them, get away from them. And get out of their way. Stephen Chow, Scott Nguyen, and Kalen Zaluzic are grinding the gears, burning the midnight oil, and building the ultimate windmill in a workshop Edison himself would envy. We pretty much stay here at uh, our teammate uh, Kalen's house for pretty much an entire year, so it's our second home pretty much. Winning the math, engineering, science achievement competition takes hard work. It also takes creativity. Check out what the windmill's blades are made of. Beware of dog signs, no trespassing signs, Beware of owner signs. Everything but a beware of builder sign, which would have been a fair warning for the competition because these guys are perfectionists. Here's the design they used in the local, regional, and state competitions. It's made out of metal because we felt it was sturdy, so it wouldn't uh, be easily damaged. It was sturdy enough to send them to the national competition in Colorado, but it wasn't good enough for these ambitious inventors. They wanted a more efficient model, so for nationals. We decided to go much lighter. And this is why we went with like a metal hybrid uh, with wood and metal. The dedication and innovation paid off as the new more mobile design blew past the competition in a variety of challenges like lifting the heaviest mass, pulling a car the farthest, and generating the most power. I'm proud of them. I'm, I'm amazed at the amount of dedication that they put into it. I don't think I could have done that as a high school student. For Steven Scott and Kay Lynn, it's been quite a run, and they're handling the fame pretty well too. This is Steve Fifo reporting.